Hello my lovely Leo, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and we are going to have a look what's coming for you this month, November 2022, regarding money, manifestation, career, business, finances, law of attraction. Hey guys, well, I have to say the cards that jump out while I'm shuffling are super powerful. They are super powerful. So we have Empress, we have two ones another ace of wands and ace of pentacles like two aces opportunities already are jumping out like they're saying hello they're saying hello we are here oh wow leo 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 as you can see this is not the one one reading but this is a general reading for leo and the sun is coming out the, the bright energies are coming out for you for sure so what can we do <laughs> leo i'm really helpful I'm really helpful and grateful for you being here. Hey, this is going to be fun. It is. Anyways, <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. I'm actually super excited. This is going to boom because magic is in the round. High Priestess. Tower. King of Swords. Three of Swords. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, this is going to be good. Three of Pentacles. Three of Wands. Page of Pentacles again, Queen of Wands, the Bonkery Sun, and everything, and Ace of Swords, guys. What did I say? What did I say? The cards that jump out are so strong. The message is so strong. It's kind of crazy. Already, Ace of Cups, the Hermit. Do you know what? It feels like a Cloud Nine for you. It does. It has this kind of. New era has started, Leo. The new era has started within your life. Really. It has this kind of, you know, sometimes when you go for a walk or are you're out and about and if there is a wind in, in, in air and kind of kind of a bit of a breeze or something, and you know that's the wind of change. And there is a point sometimes in your life when you feel so happy for no reason. And those moments are when you know when there's a you have put so much into the manifestation into law of attraction and you have done your homework and then suddenly it's like a a good dream has coming true it's good wishes coming through and it's just landed in your post box you know you haven't opened it yet but you know it's there you know it's there with ace of cups and hermit it's like two in one looking for that it looking for that happy place where everyone every one of us i think has a happy place somewhere but it's kind of like you found a place you have and it brings so much joy overwhelmment you're digging deep and looking for that light within you you know that there is this i'm gonna sound old or just traditional you can choose which one but i think that so many years people looking for quick fast something something uh success quick instant etc etc so what's happened to the traditional becoming a master year after year you know growing to the something what you want to be a baker or tarot reader even as a tarot reader i'm never a master i'm just always learning i'm always learning 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 we all should be always learning we teach and learn at the same time and that is our kind of purpose in life. And I think you have come to this kind of realization that um, even though you want maybe kind of, you want the material world, you want the, that goodies and, and the great things in your life. But there is something more to this. There is something more to this. And what we call a divine purpose. You kind of want that purpose. You want to go home or you want to go to bed and feel, yeah, I'm doing something good my what i do is purposeful hey already let's dive in what's happening what's happening okay i'm gonna start with tarot as i just did i'm gonna dive into the monology and of course answers from angels and of course road signs signposts and we have the beginning of month middle and end Alrighty, we do have beginning of month we have uh, 8th of november full morning taurus which is talking about security and the financial security. 
like everyone would say um current times current economic times right yeah every, every time is demanding that everyone feels safe that you have enough you know you do have full belly full bank account and you feel safe and secure and that's what you're doing here and then at the end of the month at the 25th november we do have a new moon in Sagittarius, which is kind of really kind of putting new seeds down and not just some sort of random seeds, right? It's not that we're talking, not talking about tulips and but no, and uh, daffodils. We're talking about optimism, optimism, looking forward to something. And it, when you put the seeds down, I am jumping, but I have to finish this. When you put the seeds down, you do not expect that they will come up right by the dinner time. You put the potato down and you're waiting. Come on, guys. I have you no know, family to feed, yeah? Grow. No, this is something long term. Okay, anyways, let's dive in. High Priestess, Queen of Wands, and Three of Cups. Massive, massive female, strong uh, fertility um, energy. And this is talking about the real powerhouse. Power, powerhouse. However, you do have some. Um, a situation that is uh, quite important to balance it out either this is work and life balance this is maybe some relationship there's some sort of situation that you need to address in high priestess manner use your intu intuition use your instinct in ways okay you know the good and bad but there is some balance needed and and something as well is gossip why hear this gossip do not gossip. Mind your business. Really do mind your business. However, with 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 all these three cards together as well, is speak your truth. There's more than one way how to tell what you want to tell. Either this is work or this is meeting. There is always, you can always find, and this is something to talk about, um, kind of managing the people's skills, managing the situation. Great. Creating, cracking a joke or having some sort of light, uh, light-hearted conversation. But put your thoughts out there. Do not bite your tongue when, because that is so important that you put your thoughts out there. And with the Queen of Wands, your passion is you oozing passion. You have this full zest for life. It's kind of some sort of celebration. You feel Leo now, and here, in your element, absolutely in your element. And it's celebration. It's not just a normal kind of tarot reading. You would say, this is marriage and blah, blah, blah. Right? But this kind of feels like you feel like-minded people. And you would say, yeah, then I'm my friends, whatever. But it kind of feels that you are in, a, in the midst of people who do support you. This um, uh, cups, it's kind of your emotional state. It's your relationships. It's been uplifted. It really has been lifted from the ground up. And finally, it's paying off. Look at the card and that's growing here. And people are celebrating. It could be maybe you're joining in your place and they're welcoming you. And it kind of feels that you are welcomed. Your talents. And you know what? Mostly, what I feel here is your cheerfulness, your energy, your this um, sync with the universe is bringing so much to the table, more than just money can do. And sometimes it's not what you do, but who you work with is more important. And I think this period of time is super important. Not just for you, but people around you as well. Right, let's dive in. Middle of the month. Okay, it kind of feels like you're really going, going through something new. There's a lot of learning happening. There's a lot of aha moments. This is how to do it. And it's really picking up. There is like the new door has opened. It's kind of like flowing of energy, of learning and becoming something more. It's kind of like you're stepping in your shoes. And, and this, there's a saying, you never know where the, the new shoes bring you new life. It's kind of like you just bought your new shoes or starting a new job of some sort. You're mixing maybe with different people as well. And you are learning and those new shoes are really kind of bringing that different spring in your step. Yeah. Have you ever noticed some people who are very busy and walk fast, they do a lot in their life. They wake up early and they boom, 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 they do things. And some who are like, like a sloth, 
nothing's going to be done. They walk slow, they, they do it slow. And you're like, I can't just live like this. <laughs> I just need to be get things done. And it kind of feels that you have these new shoes, new something clothing or not just a uniform, but it's kind of some sort of new outer kind of facade for you as well. Like, like a, you're stepping into new persona as you would stepping into new shoes. And there's a lot to learn, you know. Sometimes you have to break in the new shoes. You have to crack the eggs to make omelette. Yeah. Expect that there will be some uncomfortable moments. But you're well prepared for it. I have faith in you. Anyways, Leo, Leo, Leo. I want to rub hands like this because this is something interesting. Here we go. King of Swords, Three of Wands and the Tower. Action is so needed. I kind of have a sense that this month is going to be like no other. Oh boy, boy, this is going to be hot, hot, hot for grabbing that right opportunity. And there could be some opportunity. Ignore what Tower says in, in, in traditional. This, with three wands, in all this reading, is like, you need to act on opportunity when it's coming your way. Like no other. Like, you really need to act straight. And you will need to make decisions pretty quick just like that and using your life experience because there could be some offers coming right in even though you're just right fresh new but your energy is coming super strong like and your way of dealing things is very professional you've been watched you've been watched leo and be very do not delay anything. It's not time to, I'm going to settle in, I'm going to make tea, and I'm going to make coffee, and have a biscuit. No, 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 no. You're in, in a new space now. You're a new place in your headspace, in your physical maybe place as well. And you really need to act upon. Of course, you have free will. You can say, Sutta, I don't want none of this. But if you do, what will December bring? Hey ho, already we have the king wants, guys. <sighs> Passion for fashion or what? I know I always say that. But this is something like really kind of this is you are on your element. We have the counterparts, we have the queen ones and king ones. It's the balance, and it is a balancing act. And you can do this. You need to step up. Oh yeah. Being studious in a way. You're going to be so, so busy learning new things, learning new things. And again, Page of Swords is talking about something. Do not gossip. Maybe you're in your place and people want to share. People want to find something new friends or they want to find a, a gossipy buddy or they want to buy some moaning buddy or crying shoulder. Be professional. If someone tells you something, it's stum. You do not repeat it. No, never, ever. Temperance, you are out. You are stepping into uh, out of your comfort zone, and there will be some turbulence. But ask for guidance. What I hear here is, we see um, Archangel um, Raphael wings here, and he's always usually talking about healing, healing body, mind, and spirit, or any kind of relationships. Your relationship with money, your relationship with workplace or people doesn't matter. But this is talking about if you need help, ask. You ask and it's given, end of. Because the way you ask, no one can say no. Okay? Do not be scared, vulnerable. And you might find yourself viewing yourself completely different. You will say, wow, I did not see this side of me. Because you are growing. Big time. You are growing like no other. Here we go. Wowzers. I, numerous times maybe I've seen this. But we have two counterparts of king and queen of the same of the same character. And we have the queen. And she is very outspoken. And that's what High Priestess was saying. Speak your mind. Don't be shy. Get on the podium. Get make your voice be heard. You have something important to say. And either this is business or you want to grow, or this is a new place even. It is so important. Look after your money as well. And I kind of feel this here, that you're going to be very, 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 very happy 
at the end of the month there will be some really nice unexpected money coming mm -hmm. unexpected money coming and you're gonna feel epic you're gonna feel you're gonna make a crown out of it and you do and i can't blame you for that i'm not even tell <laughs> that you shouldn't be too tight because money is energy and should flow flow but you will earn this you will fuel up okay what that means guys that means you we will need to have a good night's sleep you're so into this it's a project it's a money it's a something that you're doing make sure you do have the resources why because temperance is talking about balance as well between body mind and spirit if any one of them are out of sync if you are abusing your body your body your mind and spirit is your responsibility it's been given to you cherish it take responsibility and feed yourself well sleep well and they will pay you back hundredfold it's no new turn so this is definitely it kind of feels that you have come from maybe one kind of industry or maybe turn into something else or you completely have turned no u-turn you find yourself as a different person and you realize you have so much potential and boom there we are leo oh my god leo this is so great i kind of feel your you can't wait isn't it prosperity lies ahead prosperity lies ahead we do have a new moon in Sagittarius however Taurus is very good worker and your work ethic is a one and you will need to prove that you know some people are watching there are definitely people watching you your work ethic you work when you're tired when you're wrong when you make mistakes when you're asking for help you will be definitely watched okay and that doesn't have to be just at work it could be anywhere and you've been kind of tested but you're gonna be paid and well paid for that adjustments are required i think you're going to be learning a lot you will realize the potential that is there and maybe you need to um take this more seriously okay it maybe started was a little joke or just wanted some sort of change of scenery and and now suddenly you realize like oh holy moly this is big i actually could could actually really develop i could really actually make this happen in the near future so what is happening leo 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 within the next few weeks there we are coming end of month mid-december there's a big turn not a turn for negative not to turn for back but it's a real kind of in the air so it's going to be heck of a month for you guys but what a positive what a charge of good great roll your sleeves and get in and you're going to enjoy this you are going to enjoy this because you are such a hard worker whatever you do are you digging a road or are you digging a um hole in your garden or you're working for your own or you're working for someone else doesn't matter because you always see something that is fulfilling your inner light and you are going after that inner fulfillment and it's gonna come it is coming it's there enjoy all right leo that's all i have for you i'm sending you love and light you will need that i know you're still you're buzzing and it is however Thanks so much for being here and I'll see you, guess where, in the next reading. Take care.